everyone let us discuss this example so in this example we have this series and we have to find its sub so with the help of result algebra of convergent series we are going to find its sum okay so that means if addition is there we can take separate separate summation if constants are there you can take outside so those things we are going to use here so for that i'm going to consider a series summation 1 upon n n plus 1 so let me write here consider summation 1 upon n n plus 1 n running from 1 to infinity see this series we can express in a different way also let me show you so this is equal to summation n n running from 1 to infinity so this one can be expressed as n plus 1 minus n okay so all of you are agree with me see if you solve the numerator again n and minus n will get cancelled to each other and you will have one right simply i express one in this way after that we will divide separately so this is equal to summation n running from 1 to infinity this bracket upon denominator so n plus 1 n plus 1 will get cancelled we will have 1 by n and n upon denominator n n will get cancelled we'll have 1 upon n plus 1 getting so the same series can be expressed in this way so with the help of sequence of partial sum we are going to find the sum of this series so in, since we know that the point where the sequence of partial sum is convergent at same point the series also converges right so let sn be a sequence of partial sum okay i'm considering a sequence of partial sum uh, sn of this series okay so therefore sn is equal to so you know that sn is equal to sum of first n terms so let us put n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on if i put n is equal to 1 we will have 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 if i put n is equal to 2 we will have 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 if i put n is equal to 3 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 and so on the last term will be 1 by n minus 1 upon n plus 1 tell me can we cancel any terms yes definitely this 1 minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 will get cancelled to each other minus 1 by 3 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 1 by 4 similarly this 1 by n also will get cancelled with the previous term so what will be the remaining just first term and last term right so now i will apply limit n tends to infinity to both sides so therefore therefore limit n tends to infinity sn is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 minus 1 upon n plus 1 See what will happen, 1 is a constant, so it will be as it is, 1, get it? And if you apply limit to this second term, 1 upon n plus 1, as n goes to infinity, value of this term will be 0, since 1 upon infinity is 0. So we'll have 1 minus 0, which is 1. It means the sequence of partial sum Sn is convergent and converges to 1. So let me mention that thing here. So yes, we should write, therefore, therefore, sequence of partial sum sn is convergent and converges to 1 so therefore corresponding series is also convergent this series is convergent and converges to the same point 1 so therefore summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 upon n n plus 1 this is also convergent and converges to 1 so the sum of this series is 1 so now we can multiply both sides by 5 see what will we have so therefore summation n running from 1 to infinity 5 upon n n plus 1 is equal to 5 into 1 5 i will call it as 1 so the sum of first series getting so actually it's addition of two terms so if you take separate separate summation we will have two series so out of that sum of first series is 5 let us talk about the second series now consider now consider the second series that is summation 1 upon 2 raised to n n running from 1 to infinity let us expand this series that means i will put n is equal to 1 after that n is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 and so on you can easily see here okay so if you multiply the first term by 1 by 2 we get a second term if you multiply second term by 1 by 2 we get a third term and so on that means it is a geometric series which we have already seen so this is this is geometric series with a a means first term what is first term of this series 1 by 2 
are common ratio that is again 1 by 2 since by multiplying uh, n term by 1 by 2 we are getting n plus 1 term okay so that's why the common ratio is 1 by 2 we have already seen if you have any geometric series with common ratio r and mod r is less than 1 then series is convergent so here here mod r mod r mod of 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 which is less than 1 so therefore series is convergent okay and what is the sum of this series 1 upon 2 raised to n n running from 1 to infinity sum of this series is a upon 1 minus r this formula also we have seen if the geometric series is convergent then the sum of that series will be a upon 1 minus r let us put the values what is value of a 1 by 2 right 1 minus r 1 by 2 so 1 minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 at numerator also we are getting 1 by 2 at denominator also we are getting 1 by 2 those 1 by 2 1 by 2 will get cancelled and we will have 1 so therefore sum of this series is 1 i am calling it as 2 okay so make a screenshot of it then we will go further so therefore we can write let me write here so therefore therefore summation n running from 1 to infinity 5 upon n n plus 1 plus 1 upon 2 raised to n so we have already proved both series are convergent okay so that's why we can write in this way summation n running from 1 to infinity 5 upon n n plus 1 that means simply we can take separate separate summation right 1 upon 2 raised to n so this series is convergent and it converges to 5 so we have already got from equation number 1 and the second series is also convergent and converges to 1 right from 2 so i should mention from 1 and 2 so which is equal to 6 so therefore given series is convergent and converges to 6 that means sum of this series is 6 6 okay so see make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye